Hey guys, welcome back. This is Professor Hank, and in this video, I'm going to go through the basics of the algorithm used by computers to perform multiplication. Okay, so let's go ahead and begin. So, when doing multiplication in computers, they follow this or these general steps in this algorithm, right? So, they end up using um, at least three registers, right? Where uh, one register is going to contain the product, which is the result of the multiplication, and that register starts off being initialized to zero. Okay, the multiplicand, which is the thing that you're multiplying, uh, gets placed in its own register as well. The multiplier, which is what you're multiplying by, gets placed in its own separate register. And then for every bit in the multiplier register, you have this loop, right? Here's what you do. Uh, if the least significant bit for the multiplier is one, then you add the multiplicand to the product, right? Um, otherwise, you don't add anything, okay? I mean, I suppose you could say you got zero, right? But zero is nothing, so. Uh, then, after you've done that addition or not, you shift the multiplier register one bit to the right, and then you shift the multiplicand register one bit to the left. So if you're dealing with 32-bit registers, what this means is that you end up performing you know, 32 repetitions, for example, or if you had 16-bit register, 16, you know, uh, you know, whatever the size is for the machine that you're working on. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at a quick, simple example. Okay, guys, let's take a look at an example. So for this example, our multiplicand will be, uh, how about 39? And we will multiply times uh, uh, 21. Okay, so 39 times 21. Remember how this is done. You know, how you do this. How you learn in, gra in grammar school. So one times nine is nine. And then we shift over to the left one, so we can do the one times the three. Right. Once we've done that, what do we do? We put a zero in that one's place and we have to multiply by two so we shift to get to the two and we also shift to get that zero in there right so then we go ahead and do the two times the nine that's 18. there's our carry three times two is six plus one is seven so then we add these guys together nine eleven so eight nineteen right so this is our multiple can this is our multiplier and this is our product okay so let's convert these to binary really quick. So 39 is going to need a 32, right? It's going to need not another 16, right? It's going to need a 32, not, not an 8, but a 4, a 2, and a 1. 32 plus 7, 39. Okay, now for 21, we need a 16, and then we're going to need um, three or five, excuse me, plus the 16, right? So we need a four and a one, right? So 16 plus four plus one is 21. Okay, so we're gonna multiply those guys together. So we have to initialize a product register with zero, or register to hold the product. We need to place the multiple canned in a register, in this case the 39, so one, zero, zero, one, 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 and then our multiplier, okay? So one, zero, one, zero, one, okay? So the way their algorithm works is we're gonna have a number of repetitions. The number of repetitions is gonna be equal to uh, the number of bits in your multiplier. Uh, I won't go through, I don't think I'll need to go through every single uh, repetition because eventually, the plier is just going to have all zeros in it. And so at that point, we wouldn't be adding anything to the product because there'd be nothing left to do. So I won't force you to watch all 32 repetitions, okay? So we'll just go ahead and, and get this thing started and we'll just go until uh, the multiplier's got zero left, okay? So start off and you're always testing this least significant bit, okay? So what is it? One, right? So if it's one, then you take whatever's in the multiplicand and you add it to the product, right? So that product register is just going to get replaced with what's in the multiplicand when we first start off, right? Because zero plus one zero zero one 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 is one zero zero one one one. Okay. 
So that ends the first repetition. Then we do our shifts. So shift right. So the multiplier becomes one zero one zero, and for the multiplicand we do a shift left. So this becomes one zero zero one 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 zero. Okay. Then we have another repetition. Examine the least significant bit of the multiplier. It's zero, so you don't add anything to the product. You don't take the multiplicand and add it to the product. One zero. That's it. So once we've determined that we're not adding anything, do your shift. So the multiplier becomes one zero one, and the multiplicand becomes one zero zero one 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 zero zero. Shifting left one position. Okay. So start another repetition. Examine the least significant bit one. So since it's one, add the multiplicand to the product. So zero zero one one. So when we add these together, we end up with one, one, okay. We end up with that value right there, okay? So end of that repetition. So go ahead and do another shift. start the next repetition. Well this is zero so don't add anything to the product and then just go right on to your shift. Okay. Three, one, two, one. Okay. So now start another repetition. Least significant bit one. So we're going to go ahead and add the multiplicand uh, to the product. This is our answer. One one zero zero one one zero zero one one. So let's convert that to base ten just to check our work. Okay. Should be eight nineteen. So we've got a ones place. We've got a two. No four, no eight. We got a sixteen. Okay. We have a thirty-two. No 64, no 128, we have a 256, and we have a 512. Okay, so this is looking pretty encouraging. Okay, so let's uh, let's go ahead and add this up here. So 32 plus 16 is 48, plus 2 is 50, plus 1 is 51. Right? Okay. So 51 plus 256 would be uh, what 307? Okay, if I do the math right on that. Okay, so 307. So 307 plus 512 is equal to 819. Okay, and we're done. Okay, so that's going to bring this video to a close. If you felt that the video was useful, please consider giving the video a thumbs up. And if you thought that the video sucked, well, then you've got that thumbs down button as an option as well. If you'd like to see more videos, if you're interested in more content from the channel, feel free to hit that subscribe button. And as usual, if you're a student of mine and you have further questions, feel free to drop me an email or to stop by my office hours. Okay, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.